There's no getting away now. This is this is Carrie Bryant area P. And look, you're on camera whether you like it or not. This is actually called R and D. That's a yeah. foreign word to some companies. <laughs> so, so here's one of your. This is your carbon straight cut megaphone, right? Exactly, exactly. And this, uh, you know, we know we can make power and all that kind of horseshit. Uh, pretty much standard deal. But what we did here was our heat cycle testing. And that's from the beginning of the muffler all the way back to the tip of the muffler. And you can see with this particular test, when it turns black, that tells you the temperature. So you can see towards the end on test two, this was 320 degrees Fahrenheit. On test one, which we changed a few things, it actually was closer to 280 degrees. And then as you go further up, you see some of it went up above the strip, 360, 280, so on and so forth. Um, and basically what we want to do is just monitor the temperature of the carbon fiber in the most extreme conditions. We test it exclusively on the dyno because the dyno is the most brutal arrangement we can possibly do. Now, so, so your, your history is super trap. To tell people what your background is. I was uh, 13 years uh, running super trap and Kirker and then nine years of winning White Brothers and then three years of running Jardine. Right, so, so clearly you have a lot of experience with exhaust systems. I, I Lots exhaust, more than I have, I, I am an which exhaust is none. guy. <laughs> okay. Yes. So this is so, and is this the sort of uh, process that you're going to follow uh, uh, with carbon fiber, fiber, whether it's with a megaphone or? Yes, we do that with everything. Actually, we do all of our heat testing on every product we make, exhaust system wise. We monitor head pipe temperatures, mid pipe temperatures, stainless cans. We use an infrared gun, and then we also use a more permanent yeah. display here, which is the heat temp stickers in about 10 different heat ranges. This is just so happens what we used on this particular can. But uh, yeah, our testing is very thorough. It's, it's for heat, it's for power, it's for sound, it's for air fuel curve, it's vibration characteristics, uh, what we have to do with mounting brackets, uh, what we have to do with our bonding agent, whether we bond a cap on, whether we rivet it on, whether we screw it on. So I think what makes us unique as a smaller company is, is we do a huge amount of R&D testing. As some people in this company tell me, maybe too much. <laughs> but uh, my background tells me there can never be enough before you put it in a box. So now if somebody's looking for an exhaust system for a late model sport bike, the, you, you have all the brands covered pretty much? All the flavors, mostly on the Japanese brand of things uh, in sport bike. Uh, we do a lot of custom applications too, Ducati, Buell, mm -hmm. <coughs> MV Augusta, uh, a lot of race car applications right. as well. But uh, primarily production-wise, we stick with the uh, sport bike range. Okay, and uh, geez, what was I going to ask you? I'm going to have to edit this one part. I'm not sure if you uh, <laughs> stop drinking your lunch or you have that problem. But <laughs> the uh... You kill me, man. <laughs> After that drinking comment, you're in trouble. Hey, uh, also, I, I mean, I don't know whether people can know or not, but I mean, you manufacture exhaust systems for some pretty major brands. Yeah, that's the, uh, I would say, the brunt of our business at Area P. Uh, probably about 75%, uh, 70% 70 of it is private label manufacturing. Sometimes that can include start to finish products in a box with somebody else's label on it. Sometimes it can just be the R&D phase. Dino right. testing, prototyping, tooling, then we give them right. all that mess right. and then they manufacture their own right. product. So now <clears throat> we can't mention who they are, but. No, we can't, or I'd have to take something really heavy and break that camera. Okay. But beyond that, uh, if somebody wants to have a handmade or exquisitely handcrafted exhaust system for uh, their late model sport bike, what is your website address? www.areapnolimits.com and yes we really specialize in the exotic that can mean one-off or it can mean something out of an exotic material like Inconel, stainless steel, uh, carbon fiber, Sorry. titanium and so What's on. What's Inconel? Inconel is, is, most people correlate that to the uh, uh, Formula One crowd. Do you have a piece of it? Not that I can show you. Oh. Um, Inconel is, the idea with Inconel is essentially you can make it a very thin gauge, you can make it almost as light as titanium, but it will withstand a much, much higher temperature. Uh, titanium will get soft at a fairly low temperature. Uh, we can say something in the 1,000 degree area, 1,200 degree area. Inconel we can take up to 1,800 degrees or so depending on the wall thickness. Uh, so we do some of that. We're one of the only companies actually that I know of that actually works with Inconel 
quite a bit. Can you show stuff. me the location of the cabinet and the combination? Uh, no, it's in our other building next door, which I've never, I never let you go in that building because uh, a lot of that is our private label sector. And a lot of the people we manufacture products for would not be uh, thrilled to death if a person of your qualities knew that we were making those systems for them. Thanks for the interview. Please, take me directly to the Inconel cabinet. <laughs> Thank you. And of course, this was all ad-lib, so this isn't the way we would normally interact. Oh, it is. <laughs>